Hey guys, my name is Ace and welcome to my channel, Asiatic TV. Now, when it comes to making videos, I'm the type of guy who just wants to point and shoot. I just want to do run and gun. Basically, I just want to make a quick video so I can document my trip and that's it. So if you're that sort of person like me, well, I have good news for you. So last week, me and my daughter went to Cornwall and I want to document that trip. So I decided to buy a new camera. I'm shooting now on a 70D, which is I bought this eight years ago. I'm that type of guy that I buy and I use it until I can't use it anymore. But I decided to buy a new camera because this one is very hefty, especially I'm traveling with my daughter. I'm the only adult, so there's so many things that I have to carry and I don't want to carry a big camera like the 70D. So I decided to buy a new camera, which is my first ever mirrorless camera. So I bought a CVE-10, the body only. And bear in mind, I've been waiting for this body for quite a while because they actually sold out of the CVE-10. The body and the lens came the day before our holiday so i don't have any idea about mirrorless i don't have any idea how to run it i brought it in cornwall still in a package because we have to go really early and then when i when we got there on cornwall i unpacked it i unboxed it put it all together and i operate the camera on full auto and i want to show you the results that i have which is right now. guys yeah we've been here for a few hours now and I'm really happy that um, Sam is interacting and engaging and getting to know a lot more about nature plants trees everything so I'm really happy because um, you know it's important for the kids and for me as well so yeah so what did you think about the clips what did you think about the quality bear in mind that everything that i shot is in auto and not in manual i just start to play a little bit when it comes to the focusing and stuff like that let me know what you think is it worth buying the cve 10 is it even worth buying the sony 11 millimeter 1.8 lens 
for me I'm happy with the results that I got being just a point and shoot and run and gun shooter I'm really happy with the results because now I have something to look back on on this trip when I get old which is near there so the reason I document my travels with my daughter is for her to remember the memories that we have it's not what gear I had or or how beautiful the clips came out for me the videos are there as memories we can look back on it and say yeah we we did some holiday we did spend time together and we did bun by the way my daughter is 10 and a few weeks ago i asked her sam do you remember the times that we went to paris she said no how about when we went to germany no i didn't remember that how about when we went to hong kong she doesn't remember it so that makes me think right okay from now on i want to document all the places that we go to all the memories that we're making it's not just for her she's laughing at the back she's playing a game at the moment but also for me you know like i said i'm getting old now and sometimes i want to look back that's actually the main reason why i make these videos these travel videos or hiking videos or the videos that i do with my daughter with all that being said do you like the quality well i'm certainly i'm happy and the thing that i'm getting on this video is this i'm not saying just do point and shoot and don't learn the manual settings and be lazy and not to learn it all i'm saying is nowadays the technology is so good that even an idiot like me can make videos like this and get good results so that's the point i'm making People might say, oh, but you can put it on your phone, you can document it. But all of us really know that we have loads of photos on our phone, we have loads of videos on our phone, but we don't really look at it. Or once it's been stored there for quite some time, we don't really look at, look at it back. Unlike when you put it on YouTube, you can just go online wherever you are, it's there. There might be times that you change your phone, you upgraded your phone or your phone got lost and you lost all that clips but at least when you make a video and upload it to youtube you know that it's gonna be there if you have any questions at all about our trip about the camera about the lens about my channel anything at all please do not hesitate to comment on the section down below and also please subscribe if you haven't yet i'm actually shocked that i have around 11,000 subscribers already and i haven't been posting for the last two years or since like the pandemic happened i have not posted anything i've just started to post videos now again anyway thank you for watching and have a blessed day peace so this is it, my new toy. So expect more videos from this baby. Cool. Peace.